Call this meeting of Lima City Council to order. We'll begin tonight's meeting with the invocation by Councilor Lowe, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear bow heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to do what's right for our city of Lima. We ask that you continue to bless us and wrap your arms of protection around each and every citizen, the administration, and this council, that we can make the best decisions possible for the residents of this city. In your son Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, call the roll. Mr. Gordon? Here. Mr. McLean? Here. Mr. Lowe? Here. Mr. Tebbett? Here. Ms. Adams? Here. Mr. Glenn? Here. Mrs. Miles? Here. And Mr. Nixon? Here. Are there any amendments to tonight's agenda? Mr. President? Mr. McLean? I'd like to add the Community and Economic Development uh, Committee report. To second. The, the motion the second is to amend tonight's agenda by adding the Community and Economic Development Committee report. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Uh, resolution. Resolution 514, memorializing the late Ari Florine Napier, outstanding Lima citizen and extending condolences to her family on behalf of the Lima City Council. Mr. President. Mr. Glenn. I move that resolution 514. I'm going to 514 be passed as been read after it's been read. Second. The motion, the second is to <coughs> adopt resolution 514 after it has been read. We'll have discussion after the reading. Whereas, <coughs> on January 24th, 2014, the entire Lima <coughs> Land community was saddened by the death of Ari Florine Napier, a prominent citizen whose many contributions have and will continue to affect the Lima Land community. Whereas Ari was born in Florence, Alabama, but was a resident of Lima for many years. She was a housewife and mother of five sons and two daughters and a part-time employee of the YWCA and the Mitzpah Center. And whereas in 1961, Ari Napier joined New Hope Missionary Baptist Church under Pastor Eddie Kelly where she served as secretary and treasurer for over 30 years, served on the mother's board, usher board, missionary society, and worked as a church custodian. And whereas Mrs. Napier loved the Lima community and was actively involved in the Martin Luther King Jr. Neighborhood Association, where she served as treasurer and was the worker of the year many times. She was also a finalist for the Lima Allen Good Neighbor Award in 1999. Ari also volunteered with the Girl Scouts and the 4-H. And whereas it is the opinion of this council that the many contributions of Ari Flooring Napier should not go unrecognized, now therefore be it resolved by the Council of the City of Lima, Ohio, that the Council of the City of Lima hereby acknowledges the many contributions of Ari Flooring Napier, which have and will continue to benefit the citizens of Lima, Ohio, and that the council on behalf of the entire community expresses its condolences to her family and friends. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Glenn. Yes, I have a couple of things. Ms. Napier was a great, great trailblazer in our community and did a fantastic, great job with the Mark McKee Neighborhood Association. Uh, her, Robin Horton, and a whole group of people in that neighborhood. Uh, she always there for everybody she wanted to help and she'd be gladly missed. And uh, I know I always talk to her sister all the time, her daughter, when I go and ask how she's doing and had an opportunity to go out there a couple times. But Miss Napier, was, she'd be well missed. And I know the Neighborhood Association missed her because she was just there. And I remember time her and Reverend Horton, and they came out and built the neighborhood out there. They worked very hard to bring Martin Luther King Neighborhood Association there. And uh, that'd be it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Glenn. Is there any further discussion? Mr. President. Mrs. Miles. I know I didn't know um, Mrs. Napier personally. I, I know her children, and I know who she, I know who she was, and I would always uh, greet her warmly because I, I was aware of all the different things that she did in the community. <laughs> and I'm very grateful that she had the, um, the commitment and the heart to serve in this community. As we are starting to lose a lot of our trailblazers, you know, um, age, why is my, my concern is who do 
we pass the torch on to? Right. Who is going to carry the legacy that a lot of these these individuals that came from the South came up north, you know, for for greater opportunities? And with that greater opportunity, they were committed to working in the community. So my my concern is as we lose these individuals, the Alberta Sorrell, the Georgia Newsoms, the Mrs. Skipworth, you know, those individuals here, you know, who do we pass the torch on? And my condolences to the family. Uh, she she surely is going to be missed, but but she would not be forgotten in our community. Right. The, the word says that you know there, there's many, there's much work to be done, but the uh, labors are few, and that is definitely what is happening here. There's a lot of work to be done, but the labors are few, and she was definitely a great worker. Thank you, Mrs. Miles. Any further discussion? I will have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe. Yes. Mr. Tebbin. Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. And Mr. McClain? Yes. Resolution 514 has been adopted on its, passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. I know there are family members. I'll ask them to come forward. I'll present the resolution. <laughs> Mr. President, Council Members, on behalf of the Napier family from Saginaw, Michigan, to us here in Lima, Ohio, and all the way to Atlanta, Georgia, we kindly thank you for this resolution in the name of our mother, Avery Napier. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President and the council members, um, we, uh, I'm Frances Napier. I am the oldest daughter of Avery Napier. Um, my mother, she was, she was a caring, kind person, and she, um, she, um, she raised five, uh, seven kids, with five of us, uh, four boys and and two girls. And I'm not going to say very much. But what I have is, is two poems that was wrote by my son, who is in the Navy, who, who lives in, um, in Texas right now. Um, if I can see. Um, the one is, is a daily prayer. He wrote that this one so far. So far today, God, I've done all right. I haven't gossiped and I haven't lost my temper. Hasn't been grumpy, nasty, or selfish. I'm really glad of that. But in a few minutes, God, I'm going to get out of bed and from then on, I'm going to need a lot of, a lot of help. <laughs> and the other one, I can't see it. And it was another one that, um, he wrote, um, it, it was really just uh, saying, A. Re. I'm not going to try to read that. I don't have my glasses. But uh, we want to thank you for the resolution. Uh, Mama, she was a kind, considered person. She took care of all of us. I don't know how she did it, but she did. And that's all I have to say. Thank, Thank you. you. Under the consent calendar, Mr. President, Mr. Tevin, I move that item A be received, filed, and approved, and items B, C, and D be received and filed. Second. Thanks. The motion the second is that item A be received, filed, and approved, and that items B, C, and D be received and filed. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number one. From Chief Hefner regarding legislation to apply for an Ohio EMS grant. Mr. President. Mr. Gordon. 
I move that communication number one be received and filed. Second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number one. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number two. From Chief Hefner regarding legislation to sell a fire engine through GovDeal.com. Mr. President. Mr. Gordon. I move that communication number two be received and filed. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number two. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number three. From the Director of Community Development regarding legislation to contract with the Ohio Attorney General moving Ohio forward phase two grant. Mr. President. Mr. Glenn. I move that communication number three, receive and file legislation on the night agenda. Second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number three. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number four. From the Director of Utilities regarding legislation to enter into an agreement with URS Corporation. Mr. President. Mr. McClain. I move the communication number four be received and filed. Second. Second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number four. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number five. From the Director of Utilities regarding legislation to incorporate new U.S. EPA rule into the sewer use ordinance. Mr. President. Mr. McClain. I move that communication number five be received and filed. Second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number five. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number six. From the Director of Public Works regarding draft ordinance for an honorary street name. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that communication number six be received, filed, and referred to the Public Works Committee. Second. second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number six and refer it to Council's Public Works Committee. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number seven. From the city engineer regarding legislation to advertise and enter into contract for construction of sidewalks. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that communication number seven be received and filed legislation is on tonight's agenda. Second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number seven. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number eight. From the Director of Public Works regarding legislation <coughs> to enter into a contract with Allen Soil and Water Conservation. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that communication number eight be received and filed. Legislation is on tonight's agenda. Second. second. The motion and the second is to receive and file communication number eight. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Communication number nine. From the law director regarding legislation to provide ambulance licensing waivers. <coughs> Mr. President. Mr. Gordon. I move that communication number nine be received and filed. Second. And, re second. and referred to the Safety Services Committee. Second. The motion in the second is to receive and file communication number nine and to refer it to Council Safety Services Committee. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Right. Reports of committees, safety services. Mr. President. Mr. Gordon. The Safety Services uh, Committee met on February 10th, 2014 to review the Vicious Dog Ordinance. Um, the issue is still in committee. Uh, we will meet again on March 3rd at 6 p.m. here in uh, council chambers. Um, and all members of the council have received a copy of the, the minutes and I ask council to receive and file the report. Second. The motion the second is to receive and file the committee report submitted by Councilor Gordon. Is there any discussion? Um, we do need to receive, file, and approve. Oh, okay. Who had the second? Second. Okay. Receive, file, and approve the committee report as stated by, uh, submitted by Councilor Gordon. Is there any discussion? 
All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Uh, the Community and Economic Development Committee. We had a, a Community and Economic Development Committee meeting uh, on February the 1st. Uh, it was the first meeting on the South Main Street Corridor update. And all councils have, have got it and read it. I'd like to make a motion, receive, file, and approve, uh, refer to the Planning Commission for review. Second. The motion in the second is to receive file and approve the committee report and refer it to the Planning Commission? For review. Yep. For review mm -hmm. is all those, is there any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Uh, there are no resolutions. Ordinance 1214. Uh, this is a third reading authorizing the mayor to enter to a contract with Spirion Inc. Mr. President. Mr. Tevin. I move that Ordinance 12-14 be passed on its third reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 12-14 on its third reading. Is there any discussion? I'll we'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe. No. Mr. Tevin. Yes. Ms. Adams. Yes. Mr. Glenn. No. Mrs. Miles. Yes. Mr. Nixon. Yes. Mr. Gordon. No. Mr. McLean. Yes. And that's it. Um, ordinance 1214 has been passed on its third reading by a 5 to 3 vote. Ordinance 3714. Uh, this is a second reading authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Spirion to provide home loan originator services. Mr. President. Mrs. Miles. I move that ordinance number 3714 be passed on its second reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 3714 on its second reading. Is there any discussion? I have a question. Uh, perhaps the mayor can answer this. Um, this is the home loan originator services for the first home, first time home buyer. Um. It's for the portfolio of loans that the city maintains. Okay. And there, because there are uh, repayments, periodically there are loans made. Okay. Um, so the, the actual origination or the uh, underwriting for first-time home buyer um, assistance actually goes through LACA. Okay. What happens to this work if, if we ultimately don't approve this? What happens to the... I mean, well, we default we on our consolidated plan, um, essentially, if we can't get the work done. Okay. And we... So that means we lose the lose home funds, funding. the CDBG funds? Correct. We're, okay. We've got a plan, we've committed to it, and we're obligated now to perform. Okay. All right. Um, is there any further discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? No. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? No. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? And no. Uh, Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 3714 will be placed on third reading as it failed to re receive the required two-thirds vote. Ordinance 4814. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with the Ohio Attorney General and to accept and administer funds from the Ohio Attorney General Moving Ohio Forward grant. Mr. President. Mrs. Miles. I move that ordinance number 4814 be passed on its first reading. Second. second. The motion in the second is to pass ordinance 4814 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe. Yes. Mr. Tevin. Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. And Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 4814 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 4914. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with GovDeals.com to auction a 1992 Sutphin fire engine. Mr. President. Mrs. Miles? 
I move that ordinance number 4914 be passed on this first reading. Second. second. The motion and the second is to pass ordinance 4914 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tevin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 4914 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5014. Authorizing the mayor to apply for, accept, and administer an Ohio Emergency Medical Services grant for equipment and training for the fire department. Mr. President? Mrs. Miles? I move them. Ordinance number 50-14 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion and the second is to pass ordinance 5014 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. And Mr. McClain? Yes. Ordinance 5014 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance <coughs> 5114. Authorize the mayor to enter into a contract with Helms and Sons excavating for the all lima bikeway phase five part two. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that ordinance 51-14 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass ordinance 5114 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 5114 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5214. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Henry W. Bergman, Inc. for the All Lima Bikeway Phase 5, Part 1. Mr. President. Ms. Adams? I move that uh, Ordinance 5214 be passed on its first reading. Second. Ordinance 52. The motion is to pass Ordinance 5214 on its first reading. Is there any, any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. And Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 5214 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5314. Authorizing the mayor to advertise for bids and enter into a contract for the construction of certain sidewalks for the 2014 combined sidewalk project. Mr. President. Ms. Adams. I move that ordinance 5314-14 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion and the second is to pass ordinance 5314 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. And Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 5314 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5414. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with Allen Soil and Water Conservation. Mr. President? Ms. Adams? I move that Ordinance 54 14 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion and the second is to pass Ordinance 5414 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? <coughs> I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 5414 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5514. Authorizing the mayor to enter into a contract with URS Corporation. Mr. President. Mr. McLean. I move that Ordinance 5514 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion and the second is to pass Ordinance 5514 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 5514 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5614. Amending Section 1040.01 of the Codified Ordinances of Lima, Ohio. Mr. President? Mr. McLean? I move that Ordinance 5614 be passed on its first reading. Second. second. The motion and the second is to pass Ordinance 5614 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? I'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. And Mr. McLean? Yes. 
Ordinance 5614 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5714. Amending section 1040.143 of the codified ordinances of Lyme, Ohio. Mr. President. Mr. McLean. I move that ordinance 5714 be passed on its first reading. Second. The motion in the second is to pass ordinance 5714 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Mr. McLean. I know people are probably wondering what all these uh, codified ordinances that we're changing, but it, it's got to do with the U.S. EPA uh, in our wording in our sewer co contract with them. We had to make some changes. We passed this last year, sent it to them. They sent it back with a couple of minor changes, and that's what we're changing. So not a big deal. All right. Thank you, Mr. McLean. Is there any further discussion? Of well, the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. And Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 5714 has been passed on its first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5814. Amending section 1040.16 and repealing section 104017 of the codified ordinances of Lyme, Ohio. Mr. President? Mr. McLean? I move that ordinance 5814 be passed on its first reading. Second? Uh, no, this is to be placed on a second reading. No. Right? Hmm? No. That's the next one. Oh, I'm sorry. I had that as the last one. <laughs> sorry. I stapled them together, that's why. <laughs> oh, well, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that will. Okay, sorry about that. So that was McLean that moved. Who had the second? Who seconded that? I did. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. The motion in the second is to pass Ordinance 5814 on its first reading. Is there any discussion? Mr. President. Mr. McLean. This is just the rate adjustment of the sewer uh, increase that we're taking these small increments over the series of the next few years to catch up. Uh, it's been in on my committee for a number of months, and if anyone has any questions, feel free to give me a call. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McLean. Is there any further discussion? We'll have the clerk call the roll. Mr. Lowe? Yes. Mr. Tebbin? Yes. Ms. Adams? Yes. Mr. Glenn? Yes. Mrs. Miles? Yes. Mr. Nixon? Yes. Mr. Gordon? Yes. And Mr. McLean? Yes. Ordinance 5814 has been passed on a first reading by an 8 to 0 vote. Ordinance 5914. <coughs> Amending Section 840.10 oh. of the codified ordinances of Lyme, Ohio. Now. Mr. President. Mr. Gordon. Uh, I move to place uh, Ordinance 5914 on the second reading. Second. The motion in the second is to place Ordinance 5914 on second reading. Is there any discussion? I'll just state uh, for those watching and following, this is going to uh, second reading to allow time for the communication to go to committee for further review, and it will likely be considered and voted upon at the next council meeting. Is there any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Miscellaneous business. Mr. Lowe. Nothing this evening. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. Mr. Tevin? Yes, Mr. President. There is a meeting next Tuesday, March 4th, at 7 p.m. of the Boulevard Neighborhood Association at the Community Resource Center at 1440 West Spring. Lieutenant Ron Holman from the Lima Police Department will be bringing the uh, association up to date on area statistics and new developments in the department. If you have any concerns or questions, this would be an opportunity to share them. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tevin. Ms. Adams. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, a couple items this evening. Um, I'm happy to say Hope Neighborhood Association will be starting up again. Um, they take a break during the winter months, and uh, they will be meeting uh, on next Tuesday, March 4th at 6.30 at Unity Elementary School, and look forward to seeing everyone there. Um, communication tonight, number six, that referred to uh, honoring uh, individuals' uh, with street signs 
Um, that legislation is going to go to committee, the public, I referred it to the Public Works Committee, and I would like to call for a meeting uh, for this coming Monday, March 3rd at 5 p.m. to consider that legislation. Second. Second. It doesn't need donation. Oh, we already got yeah. in there already. Right. And then, um, based on your comments, Mr. President, uh, and because of the new members here, um, Councillor Gordon has a meeting next Monday at 6 for the dog ordinance. And with this new legislation being referred to, if your intent is to maybe have a discussion at that time as well, you need to add it this evening okay. to your agenda, you know, for that meeting. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. You need to refer it? I think He's it was already it was it was what on the, the waiver, the amending that. I, I believe the question is: There's already been a committee meeting notice posted, right? And you need to have Sally issue a new notice with the additional item if you intend to discuss it at that meeting. If you're going to have it at a future meeting, then you wouldn't need to. But I think we're having that legislation come back in two weeks, so you need to. Right. Okay. And you can just get with Sally and have her okay. reissue. Okay. Okay. Because I know. I, you can only it's, discuss what's the notice what's on the states. Agenda, yeah. so. it, it, she's just keeping you out of trouble. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mrs. Adams. And Mr. Glenn. Yes, got a couple things here. First of all, I'd like to get my notice in about uh, my goal was to uh, find 10 folks a job a month. We're up to six right now, and I'm very happy about that. And uh, five of them with insurance. The hospitalization, and I like to you know, like to give that report out there, and for them didn't get haven't got the insurance yet, but uh, it's very important, folks, that uh, we look at a, uh, a a very aspect on how we on how we need employment here in Lima. I understand what the president said on 30, 37, 14. I disagree with that, and I've been in the council long enough to see that we're not going to lose no money because we didn't pick a temp service to take over this job here. I think it's very, very important uh, when a city's doing well as we're doing that we need to get our folks back to work. And that's my belief, and uh, that's a lot of folks' belief. I know I get calls on it and uh, what direction we're going to take different things on there about jobs and stuff, and that's all we can do, you know. And uh, like I said, that's my belief on it. And uh, as long as I've been on council, I've never seen that, that, that we don't support something. and. My understanding, no one never told us why they went to this point. <laughs> why they go to this point? You know, someone lost their job. What happened there? They didn't get the funding for the job. So there's a lot of explanation got to be heard. Reason why uh, these situations come up like this, you know. And uh, I always see that these companies continue getting richer, and folks in my wars continue being poor, and, and they, they they work very hard trying to look for employment. And uh, I know everybody want to throw some different little things in it, though, and sell different things about why we want to pass this ordinance. And that's untrue. So uh, now if anyone want to call me and ask me about the reason why I'm not going to support this, I'll let them know. Because I, I talk to a lot of folks, and a lot of folks are very happy about it. And they can tell you the story. They can tell you how much money they make. All of us got jobs here at Retire, so we're living fantastic right now. So them folks not. When you see fifty year old man making minimum wage trying to take care of his family, sixty year old man trying to take care of his family, twenty year old trying to begin working employment. There's a lot of things there. We need to, we need to look at it real hard. And uh and sometime I remember one time I supported this because we had a problem in the department and we needed help right away. But these are some of the things we gotta look at. We need to be more educated on it. And uh, I will educate my folks on it the way I voted on this anytime they need to ask me about it. Uh, I'll come up. We are very happy. We got our kid here. And we didn't get a kid of the week. I'm so proud. Of, I'm so proud of her so much. And uh, she's here tonight. And she was named one of our kids of the week. And I'm trying to get her name right. T Tanea. Tanea Bridges. She got a 3.7 average, which I'm so happy about. And excited about student at North Junior High School, fifth grade, love to write journalism, which she'll be writing about me one day, and uh, and, 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 and 
leave all the chickens alone. It's true. You read it every day in the newspaper. And members of the drum line, high octane. And uh, Miss Bridges, you can be dynamic. You can come up and get your award. Uh, and I thank Mr. Lowe for sponsoring this award. And you got something with Jerry Lewis there. You can get your number. Let's give her a hand. And this was excite me about kids that are doing good in Lima City Schools. And this is some of the things we'll continue doing. Reward these kids. Let these kids know how much work they're doing in there. Uh, I like the knowledge of uh, Bobby Huggins. Uh, she was named Sixth Ward Person of the Year. She was named today at the committee, looked over everything. They named her today. And I appreciate that. I appreciate all the work they continue doing in the Sixth Ward, in the city of Lima. Bobby do a lot of work for all community, all, any parts of Lima she work at. She do a lot of good work, and I continue thanking her. I continue thanking the folks that we continue helping folks out. I love to read the newspaper seeing that people assisting other folks. This is where we make our city grow and help our city out, you know, with everybody uh, looking out for one another. And that's what we got to continue doing, folks. We got to continue doing, looking out for one another and just keep on moving in the direction for our kids. That's our future back there. That's the future of Lima, Ohio. And we got to make a good, we got to plant a good seed and water and let it grow for her. And that's what we got to do by continue creating jobs and making her stay here, not leave. Stay here. We got employment here for you, honey. So when you graduate from college, you can come back to Lima and do a good job. I know we got a lot of our kids that graduated and left because they couldn't find no employment. But we're going to make, we're going to try to work on that right now. We need to plant the seed tonight and move in that direction. And I know people say I preach about it all, I talk about it all the time. I know it's going to come to clear. I know one day my boys will be able to come back here to teach because I want them home. And I want all these kids to leave Ohio State, Indiana, Michigan, come back home. This is a great city. I, we got a great city. We got a lot of good things going on. Come back home. And that's what we got to do. We got to plant the seed. And I'm hoping everybody uh, put their mind to it and plant that seed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Glenn. Mrs. Miles? Uh, I have nothing. Thank you. Mr. Gordon? Um, yeah, thank you, Mr. President. Um, to begin with, I want to remind people uh, once again tonight that we're having a Safety Services Committee meeting on Monday, March 3rd at 6 p.m. to discuss the vicious dog ordinance. Um, members of the public will be given a limited amount of time to, to voice their opinion. Um, also, uh, I just kind of want to mention, uh, as a volunteer this past weekend for the Lima Warriors football team, uh, we had the opportunity to go to uh, Baton Rouge Nursing Home and meet a lot of wonderful people. It was, it was touching to the heart. And so where I want to lead with that is to uh, remind people to pay attention to um, um, the elderly folks that are in the nursing home. These people were just thrilled to, to have uh, some of us out there visiting with them. And, and again, it touched my heart, so it led me to want to say something about it tonight. Um, and the last thing, um, I would like to have people be mindful to the, uh, with leap year coming up, with a year that we don't have a leap year to be mindful of the leap year babies uh, because I'm one of them <laughs> and so don't forget their birthday even though they don't have one this year um, by the way I probably am 12 and a half 12 and a half 12 and a half, 12 and a half. 12 and a half. I'm probably the youngest counselor that you've experienced <laughs> and you can do the math if you want to see what 12 and a half you want to times to four <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's, it's okay, Todd. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Mr. President. That's all I <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Early. <laughs> Mr. McLean. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I just want to talk about a new business that moved in to uh, become my neighbor. It is in the first ward, but I also have a business in the first ward. And Allen County Health Partners has opened what they call a quick care center. Yeah, that's right. Um, mm -hmm. They're open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind for the North Enders. Uh, it's a blessing to see they have a place to go to to get some care instead of having to go all the way out to 8th Street. 
Um, they can go in there and on, get, take care of Wednesday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. McLean. Um, right next door to me. I just have um, a couple of things. One, I would like to make a motion to authorize a resolution memorializing uh, George Scheid. Second. Uh, the motion second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries. Uh, the other thing, I'm kind of ad-libbing here. Young man, could you stand up? Are you here on a scout assignment? <laughs> Hey. Citizenship in the community. Um, I'm working on communications. communications. Okay. Uh -huh. Did you learn anything this evening? Yes. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? John. Come on up here. <laughs> had I caught you at the beginning of the meeting, I'd have had you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. So, what's your name? John Shreenan. John Shreenan. Okay. And you're with what troop? 103. 103, and you're working on your communications, communications merit badge. What rank are you? Um, I'm wearing my second class badge, but I'm first class. Oh, You've already been yeah. approved for first class. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, is, what is your. Oh, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Well, Mr. Shreen. Come back. First class. The, this is part of communications. you got to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, you're not. You're, doing good okay I wanted to tell you congratulations what's your timetable for reaching your Eagle um, I think I'll have it I have to get it by the time 18 and I think I'll have it when I'm 17 or something great the mayor is an Eagle Scout did you know that uh, yeah we had a uh, for Cub Scouts we came and met him okay and um, yeah Okay. Well, it is it is an award that you will carry with you the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I encourage you to keep working on it. If there's anything that we can do as a council, when you get into any other merit badges, you let us know. The next time you come to a meeting, well, let us know you're coming ahead of time, and I'll have you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Okay. Keep up the good work. All right. Good All right. Job. Good. Mr. President, that, um, Mr. Mr. President, Kevin, I'm ignoring him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I was just going to say, uh, Mr. Nixon is also an Eagle Scout, and that yeah, should have no. also been disclosed. So, well, I, it's more important that you're the Eagle, um, <laughs> Mr. President. So, Mr. Tebbin, I move that Lima City Council adjourn until March 10th at 7 p.m. in these chambers. Second. The motion on the second is that Lima City Council will adjourn until March 10th in these chambers. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? The motion carries and council is adjourned.